blood-curdling screams from an Anchorage, Alaska zoo. Oh my God. Oh my God. Did somebody call? Somebody's coming. Catherine's thigh was thoroughly engulfed in Binky's enormous jaws. I thought the bear was eating her from the toes up because her legs were through the bar and he was growling. And he was, had his paws around her legs and was chewing on her. Catherine had jumped over two low-lying barricades, hoping to get a close-up photo of Binky in his cage. Instead, Binky got the close-up. Nimm seine Hose hin, nimm seine Hose, hopp, das ist takes off his jacket, waves it like a matador. Then it happens. Incredibly, after the first attack, Chen makes no attempt to escape, and the 300-pound male strikes again. <laughs> Chen has been bitten and mauled. But he's so out of it, he still doesn't try to get away. And this king of the jungle wants another piece of him. Officials decide to tranquilize the big cats. The zoo's chief vet aims his dart gun. Then he fires. But two of the other shooters miss their marks. Fearful Chen's running out of time before a fatal attack. They resort to the fire hose. And it's up to the men with the blowguns to bring the cats down. Right here, a dart from a blowgun hits the big male. He runs out of sight, right into his cage. But the female is still a threat. Suddenly, she makes a move that frightens everyone. She charges right at Chen. But the high-pressure fire hose scares her off. Finally, cops see an opportunity. They beg Chen to come out. It's a tense negotiation, but Chen heeds their pleas. And he limps toward the service entrance and safety. Oh, my God. 